What's up? Uh, I got a new phone, so maybe the video is better. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's a Pixel 6 Pro. I'm a fan of the Pixels. They, they've been good to me. Uh, it is freezing here in Pennsylvania. Um, it's January. I think the temp right now is 13 degrees. <clears throat> so I'm going to start the car, see how it does. Uh, it's still got E85 in it. And, um, you know, a lot of people say about keeping E85 in your tank when it's cold in the winter or when it's sitting for a long time. I've personally never had any problems. What I do is start it at least once a week. I'll, bring, I'll come out here and start it, let it run, let it warm up, let the fans kick on, do all that. And I've never had a problem. Now, granted, I do have, uh, like, you know, stainless steel braided fuel lines. Um, I built this fuel system way back in, like... I don't know, 2011 or something, even before that, probably. And, uh, yeah, you do need E85 compatible uh, hosing, hoses, whatever. Um, otherwise, you know, it will eat the rubber and clog up your injectors, all that happy horse shit. But, uh, yeah, I've never had a problem. Um, a lot of people swear you have to drain the tank and... Uh, you know, put 93 in it, which, you know, if, if you have a flex fuel set up and you can put 93 in it, sure, just put some 93 in it if you're worried about it, but I'm here to tell you, I've never had any problems. But uh, let me flip you guys around, and we'll do a cold start in this bitch. Okay. Turn the key on. Get the gear off. I want to connect my laptop here. Look at the temperature. Oh, shit. 19 degrees. Um, oil pressure. Look at that. That's my oil accumulator kicking in. That is an awesome, awesome thing right there. It's it's pumping oil through the engine right now. I, I run 2050 in this thing, so it's thick. So it takes a little bit of time to get up, but you'll see the pressure go up, go down. Yeah, there it goes. It's coming up, coming up. So we got 17 PSI of oil pressure before I start the car. So it's basically pre-lubing the motor. I love that about the oil accumulator. That is a really awesome thing. Now my laptop just went to sleep. Wake up. All right, let's download this mother from the ECU. There we go. Okay. Now let's link it. Bam. Come on, baby. I know you're cold. All right. 12 volts, 21 PSI volt pressure. IAC position, where's my uh, E85 at? Flex fuel, low error. Ooh, why you don't, why you don't like the... Let's see if that comes back on. All right, let's start it. Oh! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. Let me prime it again. Twenty-two pounds of oil pressure, twenty-one degrees. Look at that! What a machine! Not bad. All right. Flex fuel is sixty-three percent. Yeah. We got volts. Fuel pressure. Cooling temperature coming up. Warm up. Look at the intake temp: seventeen degrees. Jesus. Wow, it's cold. Idle's coming up. AFR. What a machine. So yeah, car's running. Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't a bad cold start considering the E85. Um, yeah, this thing runs great on the Holly. Uh, I can't complain. I mean, if you guys still running stock LS computer or whatever there's no reason why you shouldn't switch to a Holly it's, it's really good it works really well um, but yeah about the E85 thing like I said I've never had a problem I've been running E85 for like five years now something like that maybe more seven years I don't know um, but yeah I've always you know just started up if you got E85 in the tank Start it up every once in a while, get everything flowing with your return fuel system, get the fuel moving. Um, I also bought some of that uh, Lucas Oil like, fuel conditioner. I didn't use it yet this year. Like I said, I've never had a problem. But I used it last year. I don't see the need for it. Again, I've never had a problem. Just start it up every now and then. You know, I'd say at least once a week just to get all the fluids moving and everything. And uh, you should be fine. And if you 
can't do that and your car is like far away or something, then I definitely, you know, put some 93 in it. Or at least get the, you know, get the ethanol content way down. But, uh, yeah, there's not much to do. It's cold. There's salt on the ground. There's snow on the ground. It's that time of year. Yeah, um, I think that's it. That's just a little quick video, just you know, show you guys about uh, cold.